what's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. Man, we got a good hot topic today, man. Nice, nice video I got in store for the people. Uh, we're going to be touching on uh, Chris Paul uh, tonight. Uh, Chris Paul, this guy, this guy here, man, he, 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 he balling out of control, man. You know, um, and he, he, you know, it shouldn't go, it shouldn't go forgotten. Uh, so we ain't going to forget Chris Paul on this channel. He's got the Oklahoma City deadlock in that seventh seed, winning, you know, um, making an impact, you know. So, so like I said, I, I can't go unnoticed the impact that he's making uh, with with um, with the goddamn Oklahoma City Thunder. You know, it's part of me. It's, it's unbelievable what he's doing for that team. Uh, the growth he's uh, helping out with the with, with the young guys, and we're gonna get into it. Uh, and, and somebody need to trade for him. You know, he's a, he's a, he, he was a big time asset. You know, if they if somebody who, who's gonna get Chris Paul, whoever get Chris Paul, furthers that chance at a championship. I'm here to tell you, and he's worth trading for. Um, so hit the like button, most definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, it's Flight Sports TV. Uh, and I appreciate everybody that's rocking with me. Once we get to 200 subscribers, we're gonna have Flight Sports TV exclusive merchandise. Um, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm also send something out to some people. Uh, you know, some things is in the woodworks right now. Uh, like I said, it's the people's channel, man. Um, I want to appreciate everybody that's rocking with me, man. I can't say it enough. Support the merchandise store at P Exotic Shop. We got sweatsuits and bomber jackets. It's cold out here. Uh, so it is what it is. Let's get right back into the topic. Uh, Chris Paul, man, this dude just annihilated the Rockets again. You know, uh, led 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 them to a victory over the Rockets. They just keep beating up on the Rockets. He just keep reminding the Rockets they made a mistake. You know, I'm I'm on the record right now. They had a better shot at winning the championship with Chris Paul than they have it with Russell Westbrook because Chris Paul got the smarts. Russell Westbrook is just all all athleticism. You know, not so much um not so much mind. You know, brain set. You know, this guy, Chris Paul, is a big-time basketball thinker. Like, this dude is a scientist out there. You know, so when you're in a situation like that where you got a guy just playing, well, like, he, he got no head on his shoulders, it, it could become problematic for a team that got championship aspirations. Yeah, people who got championship aspirations, that could be very problematic for the basketball team. Um but Chris Paul, man, what he's doing for Shea Gilders Alexander, I don't think it needs to go unnoticed. Like, Shea Gilders Alexander is going to be an all-star in this league. And a large portion of that is going to be off, the, off the, the knowledge that Chris Paul is instilling in him. Like, I see something different in Shea Gilders Alexander this year. Like, seriously, he can arguably be an all-star the way he's playing. You know, Chris Paul going to make the all-star team, you know. So that's why I'm just telling you, <laughs> the way they playing, you know, Chris Paul is going to be an all-star this year. Now, people are trying to make it seem like Chris Paul need to give up his money and this, that, and the third. And I, I, I honestly think all that is bull crap because Chris Paul, man, is a, is a goddamn legend, man. You don't ask no legend to take no pay cut like that. It's like certain people, you don't go to people like that. You know, you go to somebody like uh, KCP with that BS. You don't step to Chris Paul talking about... Uh, give up 44 million so you can get traded to a contender. No, they need to trade for him right now. He worth the money. You want to win or not? Milwaukee, you ask yourself, you got a better shot of winning the championship with Bledsoe or Chris Paul? You got to ask yourself that. You got to ask yourself if you Philadelphia. Do you, do, you, do you add Chris Paul to this mix? You ask yourself that. If, if, this, this series, if you Miami, you gotta think. Oh damn! Yeah, we red hat right now, but damn, wouldn't we look better if we had Chris Paul in the mix? You go from a team that's gonna get eliminated in the first round or possibly win the first round to getting to the conference finals if you Chris Paul and rolling the dice at, at getting to the finals. If you Miami, like seriously, they they could be on the cusp of winning. You add a Chris Paul, they get they could get to the conference finals, and then from there, who knows what could happen. So I'm just here to let you know, a lot of teams need a point guard. You look at a Los Angeles Lakers. I, I don't know if they got the pieces to pull the trigger, but uh, they need a point guard. I don't know how the Rondo-Chris Paul dynamic will work, but 
Chris Paul would do wonders for the for the Lakers. I think that's where he he really wants to go. I think that's where he should be. You know, he would fit great over there, for putting everybody in their position. Chris Paul is still an elite um, basketball player. He's he's probably the best leader in, in sports right now. I'm telling you, one of the top leaders in sports is is is, is crazy. Just to hear all this talk that he need to take a pay cut and all that, it's disgusting. You know, you don't, you don't ask Chris Paul to do no, no BS like that. It's crazy. So, um, what, he, what he's doing for um, Steven Adams, like, I don't really feel like the, the club is real. I mean, the, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they, they didn't really take much of a drop off. I don't think anybody expected them to be in the playoffs. I thought they would be one of the worst teams in basketball fighting for the lottery. But these guys are going to be in the playoffs. So, I mean, that's just, that's, I think that's just so resilient from um, a front office perspective. I really think that dude Sam Presti, um, and whoever's, I believe Presti is one of the top executives in the league. Um, and one of the best executives, it's crazy because he had a slip up. The only slip up he really had was um, the James Harden situation. They should have paid James Harden. I think they know that now in hindsight. They should have. They should have kept Harden. They should give up. Give up a Baca if you had to. But but I mean, you should have just kept all of them under your roof because if you did, you probably would have won the championship. But I mean, yeah, they would have got at least one championship out of that deal if they would have kept all of them intact. You know, so I really think that that's the only thing that Sam Presti did that was a little head scratcher. But nonetheless, man, he's got this basketball team is excellent, man. Um, what they got going, just the resiliency, the loser, the loser, uh, Kevin Durant, and retool with a Paul George or Carmelo Anthony. You know, I, they didn't do much, but they still made the playoffs. You know, uh, Russell Westbrook winning the MVP uh, that season. So I mean, just the resiliency of Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City losing Paul George, losing Russell Westbrook, still in the playoff pitch. That's just resiliency. That's just that's just a, 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 a never say die attitude, a never quit. Uh, Sam Presti is a winner, you know. Um, and I, I I like I like I like that. You know that that's that's definitely something that people need to realize that Sam Presti, what he what he doing with Oklahoma City. Um, and, and shoot, they, they need to keep him, or so he, somebody better put the money on the table for him if he ever if his contract ever expired. Because a lot of teams need a Sam Presti. I know the I know the goddamn Knicks do. So it's it's, it's, a, it's a tough situation. You know, it, it, it's a definitely it's a definitely tough situation out here, man. So. I need everybody to definitely hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts on, on the situation. Let me know how y'all feeling about uh, my claims of what I'm saying with Chris Paul. What team do you see that needs Chris Paul the most? Who can he benefit the most? I, that's the question. But what, what team? What team benefits the most out of a CP3 deal? I, I'm asking. Asking the people, I need, I need to know who, which team benefits. I say Milwaukee needs to do the deal the most for him, or Miami. It's one or the other. But I, I really like those um, those teams for him. I really do because I, they got so many weapons, you know. And with a facilitator like that, to just at the ones and two, especially a team like Milwaukee, I really think that's just that's where he needs to be. And I tell you what, if Chris Paul go to Milwaukee, they they they're more than like they go into the finals. And then from the finals, it's, it's going to be a roll of the dice. You know, whoever they match up with, whether it's the Lakers or the Clippers. I really think, that if, but with Chris Paul, they, they, they damn near can seal the deal out of championship. Chris Paul is ready to compete for a championship now. And I think he's really auditioning. I, I don't know if he's auditioning or he's just playing hard. You know, Chris Paul, he ain't no tanker. Like, he ain't going to go out there and lose on purpose. You know, I know Oklahoma City probably wish they was in the lottery or I don't know. You know, they, they, I know they can't believe what's happening. So by the looks of things, they're going to make the playoffs. You know, if they continue this up, you know, they're going to make the playoffs. Um, so I'm interested to see how this works out. Uh, Chris Paul, man, where is he going? Somebody need to do the deal. Hit the like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV, man. Uh, we're about to get up out of here. we got a couple videos coming in that is Flight Sports, man. Um... I appreciate all my subscribers, you know, definitely donate to the platform, that helps out a lot, you know, I uh, appreciate all my donators, uh, 
Y'all go check out the new series Blackout. Um, we got we got a lot of lot of things popping tonight. Um, be on the lookout for me tonight um, after the Zion Williamson game. We might even do a video or two before that. Um, but we working tonight. It's Flight Sports TV. We out of here, people. We out of here. I appreciate y'all.